Since the death of Mac Miller, Tana Mojo has come out and she's hinted at the fact that they might have been in a relationship, but at least we know that she knew Mac Miller. And the internet is blowing up, freaking out about Tana Mojo chasing attention and using this as a situation to make all about her in the face of tragedy. Well, I am somebody who has personally lost over 70 people to drug addiction and suicide in the last three years, so I think I have a few things to say about this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And my channel is all about helping people improve their mental health. I am also a drug addict and alcoholic in recovery. I just celebrated six years of sobriety back in June. So if you're into that kind of stuff and wanna learn about improving your mental health, overcoming addiction, anything like that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I'm really, really amped up right now, okay, about this whole Tana Mojo situation. My mind is absolutely blown, all right? So let's start out with this. I am not a fan of Tana Mojo in any sense, any sense of the words of being, you know, a fan, okay? I don't like her content. I don't like who she is as a person, really. I think that she is a bad influence to her young audience. I think she knows she has a young audience and then still doesn't try to correct her behavior. Then there's the whole Tana, uh, Tana Con situation, all right? Like, all of these things, I do not think Tana Mojo is a good person, all right? I will be making some follow-up videos about how has Tana changed and all that kind of stuff, but when it comes to this specific situation with Mac Miller, like, I am, for lack of better words, disgusted at the internet's response to her tweets and Instagram posts about Mac Miller. Like, are you serious right now? Like, there are five billion things to dislike about Tana Mojo, but the fact that people are coming out and saying that Tana Mojo is talking about publicly and grieving over the loss of Mac Miller and she's using this for attention, it makes me want to vomit, okay? Like, regardless of who she is, what she does, what she does with her content and all these other things, like, are you serious right now? Like, they might have been dating, but at the very least, she knew Mac Miller as a friend. And she is grieving right now and people are attacking her, like, what? What, like I mentioned in the intro, I have lost over 70 people to addiction as well as suicide in the last three years. There is a large portion of those people who I talked to the day before they passed away. Some of those people I talked to the day they passed away, all right? And I could not even imagine, I couldn't imagine during my rep repetitive grieving process, sometimes perpetual grieving process. I've lost three or four people in one week alone. I could not even fathom people coming at me and saying, Chris, why are you trying to make this all about you? Chris, why are you trying to, like, can you imagine that? Can you imagine somebody saying that to you? Like, when it comes to grieving, everybody does it in different ways. Like, Tana just lost somebody close to her and people are attacking her? I cannot believe this. Like, this is this is in the realm of what people are doing to Ariana Grande. Like, Ariana Grande just lost somebody and people are attacking her, saying it's her fault. Like. I get it, I get it, Tana does a lot for attention. I get it, Tana lies a lot, but she just lost somebody close to her and people are attacking her. I just, I I don't know. Like I'm sitting here watching another video with uh, my girlfriend about this situation and my jaw is on the floor. I think, I think it's so incredibly inappropriate because I personally believe that Tana Moja is a, an attention seeker. This is what she wants. I know that she is sitting there probably like rubbing her nipples at the idea that drama channels are gonna be making videos on the alleged- Like people, commentary channels out there are saying, oh Tana's so excited to use this situation about her. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? So. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. Last October, we're coming up on the anniversary of the Las Vegas shooting, okay? I was not there. I was not at that event, okay? I do not know anybody who was at that event, but I remember the night it was happening and freaking out about it. Does any, is anybody I know there? Is anybody I know there? And th luckily there wasn't. But I know many people who had a loved one there, okay? And that messes me up. It messes me up that one degree of separation 
somebody has passed away, all right? I know a ton of more people who were injured at that event. I worked in a drug and alcohol treatment center where I had first responders coming in for substance abuse issues based on the PTSD they experienced from that event, okay? And that messed me up. So if I talk about that with somebody, am I trying to bring the attention on myself? Of course not. Also, working in my treatment facility, I had people pass away and sometimes in the groups that I would run in front of 50 or 60 people, I would talk about how I just talked to somebody and now they're gone. Could you imagine somebody in the group I'm doing saying, hey Chris, quit making this about you. Like people look at them and be like, you're a disgusting person for even saying that. Like grief is such a complex thing. And what, what breaks my heart about society and things like that is that people judge the way other people grieve. Like, do you understand how complex the human brain is and how, how, how emotionally fueled we are during times of loss? Most of, of the time, people don't have logical thinking when they do things, and yet people are so quick to judge how people are grieving. I cannot even imagine it, okay? And like, maybe I'm a little bit more empathetic because I have lost so many people in my life. I have dealt with death more than most people deal with a lifetime, and I am only 33 years old. So yeah, maybe I am a little bit more empathetic. But like in a situation like this, like for somebody I don't like, like Tana Mojo, you guys are making me side with her. Like that's crazy. Like this world, like man, it's one of the reasons I have this channel. Like what is happening to our world? Like the lack of compassion, the lack of empathy. Like I just can't believe this situation that is happening right now. And like everybody is entitled to their opinion, but like some of you ask me what my thoughts are on this and these are my thoughts. These are all of my thoughts about the situation. And like it, it saddens me. It saddens me to know that somebody can lose somebody that close to them and get attacked for it. That really messes me up, you know? I made a video a few weeks ago about how I lost my best friend to addiction. I made a, in that video, I talked about how I've debated about making that video and what are my motives behind it? Am I doing it for views? Am I doing it, you know, uh, for attention or whatever? Like, these are things that I was worrying about, but I realized I was doing it not only to process it, but also to help people understand how I've made it through the grieving process of lo losing one of my best friends. You know what I mean? Like, man, you know, there's so many things going on in this world and like, just, we really need to just, I don't know, be kinder, be nicer, like have a little bit more compassion. Like, trust me, in a week or two, I'm gonna make a video about how Tana Mojo is still a terrible person, but can we give her a pass on this? Can we give her a pass, Whether, what are, whatever her intentions were of this? Like, like, it is just to me like the risk of like attacking somebody who just lost somebody, you know, like based on the assumption they're doing it to get attention, like, Man, like just let the girl grieve for like five seconds, all right? In a week or two, let's go back to talking about how Tana is an awful person, all right? But right now, can we just leave her alone for five minutes? please. All right, I don't know if you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, whatever. But just try to be nicer and more compassionate to people in this world, please, I beg of you. All right, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell. Sorry for my little rant. I love everybody who supports this channel over on Patreon. If you wanna get some Rewired Soul merch and stay in the solution, boom, click or tap on that logo right there. I'll be back with another video soon. I love you all. I'll see you next time.